Now, now Manny Mua? Si, si. Si. Is, uh, you're like, uh, you're like, whoa, where'd the Spanish come uh, uh, from? Mua? I Mua gotta be Spanish? honest with you. M -U -A, I didn't yep. really actually, your, 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 your given name, it's different, yeah? Yes. I don't know why that came up. Gutierrez. Manuel Gutierrez. Is That's my a beautiful name. name. You a beautiful accent. He sounds like a telenovela actor. I do. Yeah. I can literally be like Rico Suave. Yeah. Manuel Gutierrez. Mm. Si. And, 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 and see. Uh, um, but Mua is. E Espanol un poquito. Really? Espanol <laughs> none. <laughs> nada, nada. nada. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, MUA is an acronym for makeup artist. So that's I why so. it was my. My handle. That's what I thought. Okay, mm -hmm. I see. Makeup I see. artist. Mm -hmm. Of course, I makeup love art. that. But people love to be like, are you manning? Like, moi. Like, oh, moi. Oh. No, there would be a and I was like, Sure. I was like, baby, I don't care what you call me. Just call me. Yes. Oh. I don't care. I called you. I called you. <laughs> and I that's what Christy said. Okay, I'll call. Let me tell you Hooray. what. Ever since I had a baby, I definitely worried about hair loss. In fact, it did happen, unfortunately especially in these parts of my hair on both sides. And this happened both times. Second time was worse. There's a ton of women out there that suffer from hair loss. And I loved working with MD Hair because they were such a wonderful product to use. MD Hair is the world's first medical grade at home hair treatment. Not only is it backed by science, but you have access to 24 seven dermatologist support so that you can get your formulations the most effective for your hair loss. And honestly, this product is fantastic to back. It is clean, sustainable, we love that, as well as cruelty-free, sulfate-free, paraben-free, and it's in, even in recyclable packaging. So use my promo code to get your first month of customized products 70% off. I am so excited to see Manny. It has been literally, well, we saw each other at VidCon. But before that? Fast, fast moment there, mm -hmm. right? I was like, Quit. take a selfie. Prior to that, it was literally like what, like a six, years ago. Six years ago. Uh huh. Yeah. When six I glammed you, he glammed and me. And heard up. you into Kim, pa Kim Possible. Yes, he was like, I will do this. I would love to do this oh, with I you. Oh, I love that. Yeah, uh -huh. Uh -huh. it was so much fun. Because Lord knows he wouldn't do that now. <laughs> yes, he would. <laughs> I would. Lord knows he'd be like, bitch, no. <laughs> like, uh -uh. <laughs> no <laughs> he was kidding. He was. He's always been big though. Like even when we were talking to each other, I was so excited to get on his channel mm -hmm. because Aww. it's 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 YouTube. And yeah, it's a different like, thing. It has literally, he is. Oh, YouTube, Manny actually. is so iconic when it comes to. Um, like the makeup world. Obviously, four million followers, that's insane, you bitch. I can't even imagine how many <laughs> like, views and downloads like on your podcast yeah, yeah, yeah. with mm -hmm. Laura Lee. Yes, full coverage, shout out. It's called full coverage. F-O-O-L. Like it's it's where everybody, is it, and it's so also clever. on YouTube as well. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, it's on, it's on YouTube as well. We started uh -huh. it like almost two years ago. Mm -hmm. So we're like still it, trekking. It, I'm saying you're trekking, but it also takes uh -huh. time to like Dude, establish it, it takes right? takes forever. Yeah. Anything with social media in general, I feel like, I feel like me and Laura were really blessed and lucky to start on YouTube. Yeah. I mean, I started on Instagram technically, mm -hmm. but being a, I'm, I would consider myself more of a YouTuber. Now I'm like just a social media girly, but mm -hmm. YouTuber is where I started. And okay. I feel like back then I was really grateful to start when I did because that I felt like had a lot of longevity because uh -huh. people liked you for who you were, uh -huh. not just for like the quick little five second clips. Uh -huh. you know? I know. It's you, different, it's different. It is so different. You were literally an ancestor. How does uh, that literally, feel? I feel like an O, like when they call me an OG, I'm like, yeah. I'm 32 years old. You're like, this? Oh, I'm 21. What the fuck you, you talking about? When you, so we saw each other at Original. VidCon. What do you feel like when you go to VidCon? <laughs> like an ancient bat. <laughs> <laughs> You're so I, quick. No. You're so sorry. clever. I'm sorry. An ancient, like an ancient bat. An ancient we bat from hell. We didn't miss a beat. Why? Why? Because mm. like, everyone's so Just young. Just honestly, because everyone is young. And uh -huh. I feel like when people are going, now it's it's turned into a younger crowd. I feel. It's children. Either they're younger or mm. I'm older. Mm. Is that what they're talking? What's this? I think it's both. What's this? Where are we at? Where are we at? <laughs> What's the Sephora thing? The kids at Sephora. What's this oh, thing? Oh, oh my oh, God. Perfect. Good job. Well, you guys, I'm, I'm gas. <laughs> this happened to me literally <laughs> yes, no, two days ago. Cheers, by the way. Cheers. By the way. These, are, oh, these are great. Thank you, Cheers. Lauren O'Brien. And thank you, Dylan. These glasses are gorgeous. This is called our drink for you, my love. Uh. It's called a, what is it called? Hold on. Shit. <laughs> it, it, to me, it's one job. I want to say urine in a glass. It's like that. Golden shower. Urine, urine, urine with a cum rim. <laughs> it's, wait, what is it called? Yeah. Got it. Daddy body with, with a, a mommy, mommy face. face. <laughs> and that's, that's and like is my this you? Line. Is this you? Yeah, I always just say that because that was like kind of funny because I feel like I always teetered on like the femme and mask aspects of my life mm -hmm. in, yeah. online. I'm not really the type that would like shave my face, but I love to be glam. Yeah. I love to like work out. And I feel like I like to play on these like 
feminine and masculine role. So right. I always said like, oh, daddy body with the mommy face. I love that mm -hmm. though. You know, like, that was so and funny. here it is, the drink Cheers. and the recipe is so online. Cheers. Let's do it. And then tell me what the mm. hell is going on at Sephora. Oh my Baby. God, it's like so tasty. It's like it's an so amaretto. Good, it is, I'm glad you like it. It's delicious. Manny doesn't oh drink God. as well, by the way. Yeah. So he loves- Which is gag, no, when she said, you guys both don't drink, I'm like, these are my fucking people. That's mm. why, what's up with we that? We don't drink, but we're still fun. Not my can, can you, can you, can you take it's us It's also down? good skincare, I'm just saying. Well, is that a choice? How long have you I've been I've never drank, drinking? by the way. No. I've never drank, I never got into drink. it. Uh-uh, yeah. never been into it. I was like, kind of like, oh, that's not like my vibe. I grew up Mormon, was not in a drinking household. Yeah, Mormon So I was too. never used to like that, even the idea of drinking, but then also like, you know, I had family members that were like severe abusive alcoholics. Uh -huh. So like, I think that like when you grow up in that situation, you tend to be very like, I'm good. Like it's, it's like, like almost like traumatizing, is. almost mm -hmm. like whatever that is. And I have a, like kind of an addictive personality. Of course, you know, like, I can you know easily, that. if I love something, like I love it, and I'm gonna go in for it, and I'm gonna get it. Like totally. I'm very much that girl. Yeah. So <laughs> so what is that thing for you? You must have something. What dick. Is it? Sugar. Dick. Um. <laughs> so, both actually. <laughs> sugar. Dick, sugar everything. on top of a dick. No, is my it's favorite. Favorite. <laughs> I just feel like I'm very like. When I like something, I'm just like driven with it. Like, I feel like I'm very much like that person. I'm like, okay, I really like it. I'm into it. Like right now, I'm like really into this like one video game. So I what play video? every single day. What video it's called game? Genshin Impact. It's like this like dorky, I love know, that you're a nerd. World. I'm like such a nerd. I and like, love I love anime, dream. like things like that. Like I'm really into it. So I'm like, I'm really going to be like gung ho in it. Um, yeah. So I was nervous. I was like, if I got into drinking and I really liked it, like what if I became an alcoholic? Like, you what see if I, like, someone who's so fast thinking, so smart to not even dip your toe in a glass of alcohol. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? You mm -hmm. see, and like, that is so interesting that you saw it around you and you saw it a bad, as a, such a bad thing because you had alcoholics in your family. It's almost like you saw it as like a crazy drug. 100%. Like, I'm not gonna touch that. That's gonna That's make me- That's what I want for my kids, Of to be course, honest. yeah. I wish yeah. we treated- I wish we treated like guys, alcohol so, like we do. It's poison. Like mm. we so do we with other we treat like weed like some like well now it's different but like back then it was like this crazy drug. This is so insane. Yeah. But but alcohol was just like dust in the wind. Right. Yeah. Girl. Yeah. I, f I always felt like alcohol was much more intense and much more harmful than like let's say marijuana or like other things. And I'll tell I you think what, health guys, wise, I health wise, it really is. I love EDM music. People don't really realize this, but I really do. I love EDM. I music. did not know that. Did you not? Know? You're over here like this. I, I know, I'm like. <laughs> You're sweating I with a whistle. For real though, I would be <laughs> dancing to EDM music. Uh, a shuffler. A shuffler, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to learn, sorry, a you little, don't even know this. It, I have it. to show you what I'm shuffling gonna, is. I think I know what shuffling is. Yeah. Yeah. I, could, yeah. I shuffle around the house all the time. Um, it's, it's, <laughs> I got a pair of slippers and I'm it's shuffling. A, it's a certain kind of dance. <laughs> it's very specific. Do the shuffle. Dun, exactly. Dun, but it's to EDM music and it's a weird kind of foot dance that I haven't figured out how to do yet. It looks hard It looks so fucking hard. You dancing with the stars? don't know how to do the shuffle. <laughs> wow. It's not that kind of shuffle. Okay. So basically I'm into EDM music. I went out to a place um, in, in Austin that's a really hot club. And mm -hmm. I was like with my husband, we had a blast. We're celebrating our anniversary. And I get all these DMs from people. Chris, how do you, and these are people I know, but apparently they're, you know, watching and engaging with us. And they're like, how do you go out without drinking alcohol? Mm -hmm. And so I'm interested, like, cause you're a Hollywood girly. Like, I how, get have, that how have day. you been like in this whole world for as long as you have and mm -hmm. not been like, oh, okay, let me just, let me just fold under pressure. I think to me, like, because when fun. I was younger, when I had just like turned 21, going out into the bars for the first time, like coming into my sexuality, a lot of people would offer me alcohol then. And they were like, drink, drink, drink. And I was like, no, I'm good, no, I'm good, no, I'm good. So I feel like I had all this like, kind of like low key practice for mm -hmm. it. So where now I'm just like, oh, I don't drink. Like to me, it's literally nothing. And the people are like, even if I feel pressure, like I don't really feel pressure to drink because like mm -hmm. it doesn't affect me like I used to. Mm -hmm. Whereas, mm -hmm. When I was younger, I would be like, fuck, what would I do? Like, and I would, for, I would fake it. So I would like get like, like a Sprite with a lime on it. So yeah. I would look like, oh, I'm drinking like a, I'm drinking like, like a, a vodka, vodka soda. soda. Oh, funny. And I would like, I would fake these things or like, I would take the shot. Be like, okay, let me buy everyone get a shot. I'm like, cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ah! yeah. That's so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so like I, would, I would, like, I would placate into it because I didn't want to feel like, like I was the weird one out or the odd one out. Now I literally just don't care. No. Like I don't know. I'm like, girl, give me a shot of water. I'll drink it with y'all. But yeah, like, yeah I'm not I'm sure doing it. People really respect that too, right? Yeah. Now, yeah, hundred percent. Like I'm old. Like I'm older. Like I don't care. So there's these little girls yeah. that go to Sephora and they like buy drunk elephant. But what else is it? What are they doing? So the whole idea is that like there's these like nine year old little girls that are going to Sephora and spending their mom's money on drunk elephant because it's aesthetic. But it's like. The idea of it when you are like, like the a creator. bottles are aesthetic or yeah because the... they think it's, the bottles are like cool and aesthetic like, a like looking cool oh, yes like they really? look cool like very like do they use the hip. products I think so that's the gag so it's like a nine year old out, you know? is using like these like peptide enriched yeah. moisturizers yeah. or like heaven forbid retinol or like all these crazy things that it's like this is absolutely like going this is crazy and the thing is like I understand the idea of like 
when they're young, they always want to be a generation above, right? Mm -hmm. They always want to go for generation yeah. older. And when you're older, you want to go generation like lower. Like you, like you want to always meet in this like middle place. Mm -hmm. That's like I, I saw a TikTok on it. I was like, I feel like I kind of like that resonated with me. But I felt like the little girls do always want to look one generation older, oh, right? So they're like, I want to be a glam. I want to be like, Addison Ray. I want to be, I want to be Addison Ray. Yeah. So they're doing these things where they're going to the stores, they're spending their parents' money, and the parents are just kind of like, yeah, absolutely. <gasps> Do your thing. Well, these are obviously privileged children, white kids who have a lot of money or something. That's kind of what's happening. Okay, movie. but that's what people must be that. That's a four for a little girl for skincare. Drunk I elephant know. is six. What you're talking about with honey. the peptides? That's sixty eight dollars. That's a sixty eight dollar thing. So if you can afford that at all, I mean, that's <laughs> a lot, right? That's yeah, you're already your... annoying. But I mean, <laughs> yes. not really because what what you spend your money on is what you spend your money. If, you, if that's what you care about, I don't mean that. Yeah, and I, and I yeah. fought drunk yeah, elephant yeah, yeah. in my don't life. It's up to the parents. It is. It is up to the parents to be like, I have a Christmas, you know, gift card that. Santa gave you and you can use that like literally we're talking nine-year-olds this should I think they should still believe in Santa my daughter's yeah I don't know I think that's around At the nine? age nine yeah that's around is the that age a little old for it Santa? is a little old but I feel like that's when I was like I was around it's there. nine ten and you can push me. it like one more year wow. got it so many other kids are gonna then be the telling kids you be like, this yeah, or that right yeah like the but, mean kids are gonna be like he's not even real yeah I know those bastards know. so my daughter came home um and she was like so so and so doesn't believe in magic and I was like, <gasps> and I was like, and she's just turned seven and her birthday's on Christmas Eve. And I was like, yeah, that's a real shame for her. Aww. And I was yeah. like, you tell her that she should believe in magic. And I was like, straight up, like very passive aggressive to a <laughs> yeah. six year old child. Six -year -old girl. And she, she, yeah, but then she came home and she's like, mom, you have no, you don't even know. She doesn't believe in magic. And I was like, oh. <gasps> And I, was I, like, I bet she also doesn't believe in the Easter Bunny. No, right. Or the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> how yeah, could yeah, it, yeah. How, I mean, do you think the parents do it? <laughs> Come on. Oh, but no, I love that. I love pushing my ideologies on my child. Uh, I mean. <laughs> Somebody's got to push some sort of idea. Hold on a sec. Skincare, not a horrible thing to pass to your children. A hundred percent. No. But, but I think it's within should, reason. For right. sure. Within right. reason. Like, And the thing is like, I understand that the kids are like watching social media people and they're like, oh my God, I want to be a drunk elephant girly too. Yeah. But it's up to the parent to be like, you guys, this is out. You're out of your mind. Like, but is do it not makeup do this. or yeah. is it just drunk elephant? And like what is drunk it's elephant makeup, it's, said? It's, it's it's a bunch of stuff. I don't know okay. what drunk elephant says, but like okay. it's a bunch of stuff. It's like just going to Sephora in general, just spending money on like perfumes, makeup, all these things at like nine. I think it's like the idea of it is very intense mm -hmm. for like a nine year old. Mm -hmm. I think that's the whole idea. Yeah, I can't Especially even... at, like, I worked at Sephora. Like I was like, this is crazy. That that wasn't happening when I worked at Sephora ten years ago. Oh, now right. it's happening. Right, and right. the girls are getting younger and younger and younger. That's the part that's like, well, this is weird. They're nine, but they're trying to look like they're twenty. That's wow. so weird. And a lot of Sephora workers are coming out online yes, saying talking about their this stories. is real. They're like it's verifying happening. it, that it's happening. You guys, it just happened to me literally two days ago. I just saw it happen in the Sephora. I was in the Sephora. I saw this little girl with her mom in the shopping in the Tatcha section looking to buy the Dewy skin cream. That's $89. No. First of all, that's I know that, why is I that it. happening? And it's gonna make them, but it's going to make them break out. Tatcha is extremely it's thick. It's, yeah, yeah. it's going to give them these white little bumps. They don't have Amelia. pores. No, they, don't need a, they don't have pores yeah. yet. This is why I'm like, this is literally, we're in crazy land. We're in crazy town. So then the mom like, Go to the front with a little girl. They're returning something. Uh, it was like a Tula skincare set, right? Returning the skin set. She's like, no, we're not doing it. And then the mom's like just having the girl walk through it all. I'm not kidding you. Like it took like eight minutes to get this girl to like actually like put in the number right. She's like, what is it? What's going on? What's the thing? And they're having this interaction. And it's just like, what's going on? Here? <laughs> that you had to sit and watch that. And I'm literally yeah. just like literally looking at this. And I'm like, as she's buying the dewy skin cream for the little girl. And I'm like, why are you buying your little girl the dewy skin cream? Yeah. Yeah. That's so heavy. That's so intense. Like, why can't it be like CeraVe? Yeah. Why can't it be Neutrogena? Yeah, like, like where are the I where are the chill things at? Great point. I loved makeup always when I was a of little course, girl. So that's like, why, that's I why I relate to that. Yes. But like when I buy my kids this, the the makeup, it's literally like the cheapest, yes. cutest Amazon the stuff, cheapest yeah, stuff. that like is color and pigment, and yeah. they're playing and they're like painting their face. Yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. like they're painting, learning how to do lines and circles, and it's like they're painting their face. Mm -hmm. So like at first. I, I was a little concerned. I was like, oh no, people are trying to cancel little girls for like trying to play with makeup. Totally, it's not But it's that. next level, you're it's saying. Totally, yeah, yeah, it's, and it's not that at all. It's like actually like, I think the idea of little girls playing with makeup is so sweet. So if yeah. you have two little cousins or little girls they love to play, I give them my glosses, like it's fun. I think yeah. that it's when the parents are enabling them to get these high-end uh, skincare items mm. that will like, can be harmful for the, her, their skin. Oh yeah. In the future, like it's like, it's just not a good yeah, idea. Yeah, like cause your skin barrier, uh, you know, your skin barrier, once it's, um, Jeopardized it, or- you're fucked. Yeah. Like you're absolutely destroyed. So it's really? like, yeah. it's just better to not do that because then the skin can just start to get too accustomed to it too early. Yeah. So many things. Like it can really destroy the skin's like- the natural biome of the, like the skin, all 100%. that stuff. So walk me through your childhood experience with makeup and working at Sephora. Did your mother ever take you to Sephora? Where? I, no, I, absolutely uh, not. Well, no. I grew like, again, like I grew up Mormon. So it was like very like right. 
don't ask, don't tell. Like I, I felt like I found passion in, it was still with my mom though, because I loved watching her get ready before going to work. I mm-hmm. loved seeing her get full glam. Oh. I loved seeing her like and she got wake full up glam? and like, uh, she was a glam girly. What since, kind of like, work did day. she do? She worked at, she was a paralegal. Wow, she was a she paralegal, and then she was glam, and then she that. was a nurse. They'll go glam, like yes. she's the type of girly that doesn't leave the house without a full beat. Yeah. Like <laughs> she is that girl. So I, I was like, it makes sense, like why I'm like the way I am. Mm-hmm. It does. So I would watch her. I loved it. I would steal her little Mac pigments, mm-hmm. go to my room and like practice and play with it. But then very like put them back and very like wipe it off before I leave my room. Just like I'm straight, like it's kind of, <laughs> like very just chill. So um, it wasn't until I was like in my early 20s, which I had to drag a few times, like for fun, for friends, like Halloween or a birthday, we went out and drag and I was like, this is so much fun. Like, yeah. I love being glad, but I didn't like really like the other aspects. Like I was like, I didn't really want to wear a wig. Like I didn't want to wear heels. Like I didn't right, want to yeah. do like the other aspects of drag at the time. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I just like the makeup part. Mm-hmm. So I started like playing with makeup more and more and more. And mm-hmm. then I applied to work at Sephora and JCPenney. Uh-huh. Cause I was like, oh, well, I can say I just work at JCPenney. Oh my God. The level of, of 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 shame that you have no, experienced. Like, I, I hate that I was that like, oh, I work in shoes. I work in I was shoes. Getting, my check was coming from JCPenney. Oh, yeah. wow. But I worked at Sephora. Sephora. Like, you, I specifically worked in there. So it's like, well, like, you guys, like, my parents would never know. So I'm they didn't even JCPenney. know that you ever wore makeup at all. Had no idea. Okay. Wow. And I was literally wow. full B, leaving my room, jumping out my window, going to work, yeah. having makeup wipes in my car. Two wipe lives. off everything. I was literally living a Hannah Montana life. <laughs> literally... Wipe off all my makeup and then go into work, go into my house, just like take off my Sephora little tag. Wow. Mm-hmm. Hey guys. Okay, so how then are you when doing? did when did when did the when did it come out? Well, it came out because uh someone at church had asked my parents, like, is this your cause I had created an Instagram. Cause I was like, I blocked all my family, blocked all my I blocked everyone that I knew in my real life on this Manny MUA, the one I have now, yeah. account. Mm-hmm. So I was like, well, I don't want like people to like ruin it for me like i want to like enjoy makeup myself like i want to have fun with it like i want it to be my own thing right, right, right so then i literally was like okay i'm going to block everyone no one's never seen anything didn't block i guess someone from church they saw and they're like is this your son like look he has like a good amount of followers i had like ten thousand at the time <gasps> like look and then my parents were like <gasps> you guys and i was like doing drag like i was a full of glam so they were like you were yourself this is like wild so then they were yeah. like is this you? So then they like it was an, like an intervention. It was literally an intervention. So then they're like, yeah. "Is this you?" And I was like, "Um, yes." And it was like, "You're going to delete the account right now." You're and going I was what? like, "You're, you're going to delete, delete your that account, account right because you lived with them." Yes, I lived with them, and like you know, I'm Mexican. Like, yeah, you live in a Mexican household, baby. Like you live. That's their that's their rules. Like you know, yeah. it's like baby, you're under my roof. You're live. It's my rules. So they're like, "You're going to delete it." And I'm like, "No, I'm not." And like I had this like little like battle with them i was like no i'm not I'm not deleting it. and i was getting like very frustrated i was like 21 at the time 22 yeah. i was like no 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 i had a full-blown manic panic attack started like i fainted i was like blowing tobacco like <sighs> fully like i was going literally crazy i was like i'm not deleting it. i'm not deleting it and then Aww, no. time passed and i just like never deleted it even though they told me to <laughs> but like i think they fell back because i was literally having a panic attack yeah um but at the time too like i understand because they were like I was trying to get into med school. Like I was in college. Like I was like this different trajectory of my wow, life. Wow, med school. Very, a- I was trying to do that. Like I had just got my BS in health science. Like Good I was like you. really been interested in like, I feel like he's a nerd and like yes, the best yeah, 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 yeah. 100%. He's always been interested even in your content, like about the formulas. Yes, and love, the I love that. And like all the interesting mm-hmm. things, which is what makes him such a good wow. creator. I love yeah, that scientist stuff. I love, well. I love science with my favorite. You know, subject. I mean, he's. All, I also still wear your eyeshadows that you. That I mean, I've there. They expired. Well, no, but they're good. Lunar. I know they, the baby, pigment still works, baby. They're uh, sickening. In Lunar Beauty. Lunar I still Beauty. use all the products that yes, he sent me. Yes. Yeah. I need to get. I need to get you some stuff. If you oh, that's. Like. Yeah. I, I well, I've been, I. I know of it from, <laughs> yeah, from following you, but I'm like, wow, you got you, you got your own products, your own <laughs> brand. <laughs> that's insane. Yeah, and it's crazy. So that came in. Do you? Are you like close to? um what does it feel like with other influencers who do makeup, like the Patrick Star? Yeah, totally, totally. I'm, like, I, do you feel, I'm, I'm friends with Patrick. Yeah. Oh, cool, cool, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. used to be really, really close. You know, just time. You know, thing you grow, things happen. Of course. But um, I'm definitely like we're I'm friends with Patrick. Like okay. I have a lot of great friends in the community. Good. In the industry, Good. like I wondered it's about great. that. It's great. I love. I'm like, I think it's cool because like we like a lot of us back then like we created like again we we're like OGs right. Mm-hmm. So then seeing us all now in this like new world creating short form, it's like, I feel like we all like root for each other and we all like, mm. like go you, go you. Cause it's like different, it was different back then. And I'm sure ago. you kind of have the same community, the same followers, it, people who want to know how to do their makeup and want to be taught while being entertained, which is so good. How did you get so funny, you scientist <laughs> makeup artist, you? <laughs> yeah. Right though, cause you're <laughs> so you. educated, but also have this, so it's such a fun, it seems like you grew up in musical theater. I think trauma. <laughs> oh, you do. <laughs> 
<laughs> trauma. You did? Trauma. Oh, no, yeah. I said trauma. Oh. Not drama. <laughs> trauma. She about you're fell like, off the literature. Like, yeah, drama. I thought you said I did drama. And I was like, no, totally. Yeah, no, it makes sense. <laughs> yes. Well, I was thinking trauma. theater and drama people will actually be mm-hmm. funny behind the scenes mm-hmm. too. But no, trauma. Totally. Trauma will make you, know you think, when, think life's not seriously, right? Uh, it, it's Help. the truth. Like it's I think coping. that it's just like a coping mechanism. It's really just like you laugh at things to not cry for things. Like you just do these things instead to like brighten your own day in some capacity. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I would always like kind of like do that. I think that when you like grew up the way I did or you felt like very shunned and not like my family always loved me. Like it's not that. It's more so like an internal, like, I'm always battling my own self. Mm-hmm. You like you start to self-soothe a lot more because mm-hmm. you're like, okay, well no one understands me so I got to understand myself. Mm-hmm. But why does makeup make you feel so free? Like I'm curious. It was my creative outlet. So okay. I think that growing up, I didn't have that. Yeah. I was like the sporty kid. I played sports. Like I played volleyball. I was much more in like that world mm-hmm. and never like never did art, mm-hmm. never like did an instrument. Like I couldn't do any of those things. Like I was never good at it. But makeup was something I was actually like naturally very good at. Mm-hmm. So to me, I was like, oh my God, this is like what it feels like to have like an outlet. Mm-hmm. How Wait, exciting. Did you, do you paint as well? Do you? I don't. No, I don't nothing. Paint. I can't draw. Yeah. Like all these things like that are like very artistic and stuff. I yeah. can't do any of them. Yeah. But I can do makeup, which was why I was like, I really want to stick with this. Like this is fun. Mm-hmm. I've seen this little girl, little baby girl. <laughs> do you know who I'm talking about? Which one? Who does her mommy's makeup? Yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. She's so good. I'll get tagged on those videos all the time. I love her. What's her handle? I don't, I don't know her handle, but I she's no this little baby idea. girl. She's literally like my kid's age. She's like seven or eight. Yes, uh-huh. and she glams her mom so good. Full beat. Full like beat a lash and everything. And herself. And, and herself. Yes. I gotta find it for, for you. I really do. I have so much respect for Manny. He's like the most humble mm-hmm. of anybody that I've seen mm-hmm. um, in this this marketplace. And <laughs> yeah. honestly, you really are. Um, <laughs> because I mean, it is probably so easy to get swept up in the image of the image of the- 100% of the- ma- I was gonna speak Spanish. I don't even know why, maquille. Yeah, the, the makeup. Yeah, image and the maquille. Why am I speaking Spanish? I love it. Yeah, you know, yeah. the maquille. It was the, it was the C, it was the C I said earlier. <laughs> it it, it resonated, that. the C. That was what it was. Mm-hmm. I wanna know like, me, who's your, baby. have you ever had a stalker? Have you ever had like just crazy- <gasps> I, don't know, weird I was gonna ask you that. I've had a weird experiences where people like, have showed up to my house before, where like they were like ringing my doorbell, trying to get my attention. Like my brother answered, it was like, uh, a follower of mine that was like, is Manny here? And he was wow. like, no, I am i don't even know who that is. So he knew like what oh. was going on and thought it was weird. But like, I've definitely had people show up at my house before. And it's yeah. like the craziest, most weird, invasive of course. feeling how, in how the entire world. How do they know where you live? I have no idea. That's well, why like, I'm like, what are they going to do once they see you? I don't know. It's... Take a photo of me? Uh, like, what do you, like, what do you, like, what is, I don't understand the point of it. Because the thing is, if yeah. you show up at my house and you ask me a photo, I'm not taking a photo with you. Yeah, that's You're not going to be a, like in a photo around my house. Like we're not taking a selfie together. And that's crazy that you're right. That's so invasive. I'm literally I, kicking you off. I was telling her a while ago that I got a le- prison letter. A letter no. Prison. Wait, yes. what? You did? A prison letter? A letter? I don't remember prison. this. A scarlet letter. What was it? A guy who was just in prison for murder and um, oh. was saying he was a fan and wanted to start a pen pal relationship. <gasps> Wait. And he said no, he wanted no, to murder that. Was he willing to pay? No, it wasn't anything. Honestly, Damn it. it was actually very, very <laughs> what, well what, Why are we here for then? <laughs> what are we? What are we talking what the, what about? What the fuck are we doing? Say here? less to me. Don't. If unless if you want to be a prison pen pal with me. Yeah, exactly. Babe. I'm like I'm not gonna fee start on a this monthly up, basis. But how did he get my address? Y'all? Oh, that's oh, the, oh, oh, actually, yeah, I didn't even think he about that. You know this term? My, I'm like, what? That's crazy. Being doxed no. means that somebody on the internet yeah. doxed man. They like show the address, like where you live. Do yeah. you get recognized a lot? I do. You must. What do people say to you when they run into you, when they recognize you? Like for me, it's always like, you know who you look like? Or they say, you were my childhood. I wonder what they say to you. Like, they, Honestly, I get very much you were my childhood as well, which wow. is crazy because, because of YouTube. As, because of YouTube. Of and course. like people love to be like, oh my God, I no. Do you know what is so funny? And it kind of gags me because I'm like, I don't know if you're being shady or being real. You're just like, people were like, I used to be obsessed with you. Oh. Like you used to be obsessed. With yeah. Oh God. Oh God. I know. Oh my God. What about I used to now, love bitch? You. Okay. No, but it's or like, very you're much like so much prettier in person. Oh, and I'm like, how dare you? What I look like online? I know. Uh, people always say like, and I know they're not being shady when they say like, oh my God, you're so much bigger in person. And I know they mean like I'm taller and like, yeah, like bigger than, than I look. Life. Yeah. But I'm like, you know what? Like that can trigger. Of course. Yes. I'm like, baby. <laughs> what do you mean I'm bigger? <laughs> Is bigger always better? Yes. But it's like I feel like it's. That's what they usually will say. Or they're just like, oh my God, I, I love your, now it's crazy because like, I love your TikTok. Mm. I love, um, that's okay. what they say now, which so, is crazy to me. Yeah, it is because Manny started doing this stuff, which I thought was so funny and such a great way to show his real person, how funny he is. <laughs> but he does these funny things where these like thirst trap guys. Oh, I love them. Thirst trap guys are all over TikTok. Do you know what Everywhere. thirst trapping is, right? Yeah, yeah. You you do like, them all the time with your sexy. Yeah, yeah, you do. I fucking live for her thirst traps. 
<laughs> Annalisa, you take the best thirst traps. <gasps> like she does. I mean, I, she's you know, the best butt. Oh, and like, stop! I she just does took all a the, cu- I went on vacation and took a couple of photos of me in a bathing suit. She's being and, so, and like, and suddenly it's like thirst trap. Thirst trap. I, I mean, love I them. guess although in I am boudoir. engaged. Oh. Yeah, but is it going to be a thirst trap if you're already taken? Yes, absolutely. Oh. I thirst trap all the time. Oh, okay. I'm right. so fucking I love her. I don't, yeah, you got to do it. And also just to break it up, break it up between people the other things. See, give the people what they want, honey. Yeah, yeah. Maybe sex sells, as we said. What are you, <laughs> I keep asking everybody this, but um, what are you looking forward to in the new year? What's the next, oh what's the plan? What's the well, five year so plan? So, this stuff that he's doing Sorry. that's showing his personality mm-hmm. is, no, this isn't related, yeah. I promise, is that he's like flirting. And like, I kind yes. of wonder, I'm like, Manny, what's what's your love life like? Like, are you seeing anyone? Yeah. Are you? You were single when I met you. I'm still single. Yeah, what Yeah, but the thing is, I totally know. <laughs> and I'll talk to guys and I'll definitely like will put myself out there and sometimes but there's times when I'm like I'm really into the idea of dating and I love it I'm like yeah absolutely but then there's times I'm like I don't want to date I just want to do my own thing uh-huh. like, I want to like work and grind and like hang out with my friends like I don't want to even you focus on that you love your friends you're a great friend I, I like love I like that's why I'm the happiest and I think it's because I've been I've felt like I've been doing stuff on my own for so long I'm so content in my like single yeah, life yeah. I'm very independent like I don't feel like the need, I guess, for a partner. Mm. It would be nice. I think that'd be kind of fun, but like, I'm not like, I'm not, I yeah. never had that in that capacity. So I'm like, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm missing something. You're not, you're not, you're really fine and happy alone. You don't even, yeah, it's on the totally outside sure. out of And your family. What you do you need? Yeah, your family. How, how do you, f- what's something that you, I always think about this. What's something, I think I read something in the New Yorker about like love languages, the like mm-hmm. 36 questions about to fall yes. in love with somebody or something yeah. like that, where you get to know somebody. But one of the questions is, what do you need from your friends? What is something that you would need from your friends? Like, what's the best way to show you that somebody's your friend? I feel like for me, it really is about like quality time, mm-hmm. like spending mm-hmm. time with them, experiences together, laughter. I think I'm like very big on like, I want to laugh and have fun. And I don't want like, I feel like when I was first starting social media, I had like friends that were around me that weren't really like, good friends like I thought they were. Yeah. And they were actually bringing a lot of like drama and like intensity and just like anguish to my life. Mm-hmm. And now as I've gotten older, I've like just like kind of like, like yeah, that's like, all gone. Like I don't want any of that. Away. I don't want the drama in my yeah. life like at all. So mm-hmm. now it's very much like, can we just like actually chill and be, can we just like be chill and like literally be on our phones together and just be like, oh my God, girl, look at this. Yes. And chill and watch a movie and just like be present in each other's company right. without yeah. feeling like, I have to talk to you. Like I have to be on. I don't right. want to be on. Mm-hmm. I don't want to feel on with my friends. I like know. that's the yeah. worst thing ever. I know, but sometimes these days I still feel like I sometimes I am. You know, you have a lot yeah. of friends and like, and that's okay too. And certain friends are different. Do you feel like you're on with me? Oh God, no. Okay. Go yeah, ahead. but I was gonna say, like when it's like your close friends, you right. don't want to feel like you're on. No, yeah. God, no. Acquaintances and stuff like that, I'm like, girl, it is what it is. I don't give a fuck. I, I, yeah. I'm glad but you feel that way. No, I feel friends. like I, I feel that way about Manny too, though. Aw. Like, oh, I, I hope you feel that way about him. I feel chill as fuck. I love Manny. Oh yeah, me too. Like I don't feel like I'm on. Like I feel like I'm just kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> I know. I've always said Brendan's not here. Always, he is. He's upstairs actually. <laughs> Shut up. He knows. He knows that I love Manny because it's been years and it sucks that we didn't get to see I know, each other. I know. But I was having kids and moving no, around. And, and, like, and you were not in LA Pandemic. either. <laughs> and you like weren't in LA either. Uh, I wasn't. I was in OC, so that was even mm-hmm. farther so from where he lived. Mm-hmm. But honestly, like you know how sometimes you're like, oh no, I'm like, and now that we're back, like I'm sorry, you're coming to my fortieth. A hundred percent. I can't wait. This is it. We're Maybe friends it's- now. And did you enjoy your drink? You guys, I'm literally obsessed with this. I drank it all. Can we ask you some burning questions? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, I love this one. What reality show would you love to be on? Oh my God, Housewives, I think. Which is funny because I don't even watch Housewives like that. I'm not even getting like- Oh my God, I do. But I just watched the, my my bestie's obsessed with Housewives. So I just watched last night the finale of the Salt Lake City, the most recent one. That was like receipts, timeline, da da da. Oh wait, what happened with that? You guys, I don't, apparently like, the girl that was in like their group Melissa. ended up, be- yes, it ended up being like a Traitor drama channel, mm-hmm. essentially. Mm-hmm. That's like talked about all of them, and they finally figured out like that it was her. So, so she got on the show finally. So she had this like blog where she talked. So she was like, yeah, and she was like a, what? Yes, yeah. imagine like your one of your close friends yeah. was actually an internet troll shading you mm-hmm. on Instagram. Immediate death. Death to, uh, to them all. Like immediate death. Yes. Yeah, so that's Morte. what happened. Morte. Yes. So that's what happened. So it was like this crazy situation and they confronted her at this dinner and went off on her. Oh my and God. she was like, it's not just me who runs it, it's multiple of mm-hmm, us. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it was like this crazy That's thing. what she said? Yes, yeah, she but owned it. The fascinating it. thing That's is she's, in- she solidified her spot on that show. Oh baby. She did with, it right. With, she's gonna with, be on that show for forever. With that one, I'm like, really? oh, that's gonna be season. She's in the next season, she's absolutely. She's in the next season, absolutely. She knows she exactly. Was new. She's, she was really new into like the show. I guess she was like an assistant wow. of another uh, uh, person that ended up going to jail. 
She what? was her sister, and she was one that was she exposing did. her oh, to go wow. to jail. Ooh. The fuck? This is Isn't that crazy? So I think that I would be like, like I would love to be in something like that with like influencers. Sorry. You want to be what? An influencer version of it. A housewives influencer. That version? would be so messy. You know, like so messy, dude. Isn't there this thing? There used to be this like blogger family, like the the Ace family. Yeah. And he's like doing this thing. Like Austin McBroom is this guy's name. I love that she doesn't know this stuff. I'm like because I'm I bringing, don't. She I'm always brings something to Austin McBroom. Like, and the uh -huh. people listening don't either. Half do, oh, half often. don't. I do. So I love bringing them into it. I mean, look, internet drama is real. I've been tried to. People try to pull me into internet drama, and I'm like, nope, sorry, You're just like, like you, not, Manny. I'm yeah, like, I'm we're not like, doing uh, that. I'm not even. Sorry, feeding I'm grown into ass it. woman. <laughs> I remember one time <laughs> somebody <laughs> said, "Oh, look, the 40 year olds are fighting." I'm like, I didn't say shit. So <laughs> no, literally. Move along. I'm like, okay, bitch. Like, <laughs> you're, you'd be lucky to even get to 40. <laughs> move along. Oh shit. Uh, morte, morte. All right, let's see. Let's see. Oh, I like this. What is the weirdest thing that your family does together? No, because you're really close to your brother. I'm super close to my brothers and, and, are you and your brother's straight yeah did both you my brothers do his are makeup i've done his makeup That's i've done both i've done every my dad my mom both brothers i've done all their glam <laughs> and it's I crazy because it's like it really was like with my parents like it went in such full circle because now like they work with me lunar beauty full time mm -hmm. like they work oh, they with do? me with my makeup line lunar mm -hmm. beauty is cool. a fucking fantastic makeup line yeah, and, and y'all really need to try that. it out the, uh, the pigments you. are insane oh i'm all it's, about the pigments the, the, right? the gloss that i use i get compliments on all i the tried time. it's like i lick I and disgusting i lick everything Mo a lot of people do that that's Before like I a put very it on my common, eye. common thing. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm sure it's disgusting. Don't ever use my brushes. They're disgusting. They're like, like you lick your brushes? Like, I lick my brushes before I put it on. To intensify the pigment. Yeah. Oh, okay. it's, it's like wetting it. wetting it. But oh, it's better because oh, it's brushes, sticky. Not like it's big better to brushes. have the saliva because it's kind of sticky. I know that's disgusting. Or you can do a setting spray. I should do that. Oh, because it's also sticky too. Yeah, I should and it's much cleaner. It's disgusting. I know I was like doing Disney Princess concert and I was like talking to one of the girls and I was like, uh-huh. And she was like, are you? What's happening? She was so fucking grossed out. I wouldn't be grossed out. No, it's like very I've heard you burp farts and you naked and we just hang out doing the podcast. I love everything about her. I'd fight somebody I love you guys' friendship, honestly. I really do. You know what it's It reminds me a lot of Laura. Isn't that crazy? No. I love Laura. Laura Lee. Oh, the literal. Shout out to Laura Lee. Shout out to Laura Lee. The bestie, the icon. Get her on here. She's literally Okay. Funny as fuck. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you live. know what? I, need, I I've, I've been dreaming of this moment, Manny, with our with our remaining time here. Okay, I got lash extensions before coming on here, <laughs> but your girl is. I am inept at putting on false lashes, and um. I've talked to her about it because she's like really good at it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is I the key tell. to putting on false lashes? My key when I'm putting false lashes on is always tilting up and looking down, so your eyes aren't fully closed. Mm -hmm. And having as much lid space as possible when you're placing it mm -hmm. on. Like, imagine like I have a lash on right here and this is my mirror. I'm a lot of space. I can see everything, but okay. you can, exp I'm exposing. The Do you see circle. that? You can see, you can essentially see your lid. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Placing right on top of the lash from the outer to the inner. From first. the outer to the yeah. inner. Place like this. What Make happens sure if that first. thing is like sticking out and it's like not, oh, but you do you hold it that's like enough I, time on the so you, outside? You, so you put it there and then you adjust from there, but it would, it's easier to adjust on the outside because it's closer for you. Yeah. But then the part that's like always like the bitch is the inner part that kind of can stick up. So that's yeah. the part that gives you the most, it's already stuck here. So you can mm -hmm. kind of easily kind of maneuver mm -hmm. yeah. where you want it to go instead of it being stuck up here and you're kind of like, yeah. So and focus then, on the outer corner more. Okay. Before you go into the inner. Does it the inner dry is more, for a little bit once you're sticking it like that? And yeah. Then you know, move like in? when you put the lash glue, you want to like wait a good Just 20 make it seconds. Sticky. Oh, make is that it what tacky. You do? It shouldn't be wet. It should be sticky. It yeah. needs yeah. to be sticky. I use the super strong and fast drying one. Okay. Oh, yeah. I just so, use Duo. I use Duo as well. I, yeah. I love Duo and, and I use kind of a lot of it, but I, I always think this is. You you would know, but I think people don't. First of all, size the the they don't cut it. They oh, don't that size too. it. Mm -hmm. And then I really bend it. Oh, I maybe. really she bend it. Bend. I'm like so this. So all I I literally exactly. Mm -hmm. So then I just literally lay Plop. it on my lash, and it's already shaped to my eye. She's literally a professional but lash. I think most people. I know. She's, she's. I think most people just grip off the eyelash and put it on. It's like yeah. no no no. Of course it's gonna lift. Yeah, and then you plus it's like to. it's the like your eye is so much more curved than. The, what the applicator they give yeah, you that's exactly. in it. Yeah. So then when you do that and you form it and you really wiggle it, it mm -hmm. really does help. And then you put the dew on, blow, blow, make sure it's sticky and then get it on. All right, yeah. you gotta help he me next time, I should let him know. But no, that's great. That's literally perfect. Like what you said is perfect. I'm glad I got that got the confirmation. I think you're so great though they, today. Because they're, they're um, oh, extensions. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, but yeah. Like, you mean they're not real? I thought they were real. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Every don't fake, baby. Every time Last one. One more. Okay, last one for Manny. I think this is cute. What's okay. your favorite smell in the world? Oh my gosh. Um, it's a smell. The, my favorite smell right now is the one I'm wearing. I smelled you. You smell amazing. What is Thank it? You. It's like something I'm working on. <gasps> you bitch. Oh, 
all these people. You know, that's great. I, I love s- that you're saying you bitch a lot today. I, <laughs> you like, bitch. love it. I like, love it. I I'm love so hearing you bitch. You. Well, it's, I'm you getting know, her to cuss. I, just, I, lo- I love that. Are you not a, are you not a cusser? You. A cursor? I don't. Well, gosh, that's funny. Yeah, I guess I've been cursing more, I'm but no, not influence. really. I don't mm-hmm. really say the F word. I'll say bitch, but I don't say the F word a lot. Unless it's mm-hmm. like really used. I don't like to use it arbitrarily. Like, what the hell? Oh, I gotta right? go to the fucking store. Seems like, I don't need to like, say Like, what's that. the point? Yeah, yeah. yeah unless yeah. I saw this fucking bitch at the store. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, like, you for sense. emphasis. You'll use it for emphasis. Yes, exactly. Well, I'll exactly. use it for emphasis accurate. as well. I was like, it's I need to accurate. be like- but I love that you're building an empire and that you have all this sh- good mm. shit coming out because you're a good person. Thank you know, you. that's really so that. cool and so much to teach other people. Mazel tov on your success. So you're working on, uh, can you talk about the fact yeah, that you're I'm working? Yeah, working, I'm working on a fragrance. Like I've been wanting to huh. do a fragrance with Lunar. Oh my God, literally, if anyone hears this, let me, yeah, I'm working on a fragrance. Uh, I've never <laughs> talked about it online, but yeah, I've been working no. on it for a, a Did, long, we long got time. The we got the exclusive. Well, that is a big deal. I, well, how does that process go? Like, are you, you guys, it is literally don't you lose even the sense harder than makeup and like makeup is already really hard. Formulating, making makeup is tough as fuck. Like takes forever. Science of it. it the science of it. Yeah. Like you know, just the thing is like you you want something so specific. Well, when I'm you very... own yours, because exactly. I hear, I heard that um, what's her name with the ponytail, Ariana Grande. Mm-hmm. She doesn't own her makeup no, line. No, she's licensed. That's, yeah, nice license out. Yeah. Most big celebrities do not own their line. Yeah, do you always think does Selena bigger... Gomez own rare rare mm-hmm. beauty? Oh, okay, mm-hmm. that's I don't know that. Yeah, most big brands like they were saying Sephora like have conglomerates behind them that are like licensing them right to be like the face of it mm-hmm. and like she's probably very involved all of them probably really are yeah but it's not Theirs. their brand right. they're it's not, not the, the same as what you're doing they're not mm-hmm. self-funded yes so like as indie so i'm an indie brand because i'm independently owned like mm-hmm. it's my thing with mm-hmm. my with my parents so that's like the difference but it is really hard because i'm very particular about what i come out with and what mm-hmm. i want because mm-hmm. i'm i mean i'm also a creator like I have a reputation for myself and like what I want in something. Mm-hmm. So I'm not gonna put out something shitty for the sake of putting out something shitty. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not gonna do that. Like mm-hmm. I want it to be sick. What I love about you too, which really echoes in the OG YouTube world, is that your reputation in, in the products that you endorse, work with, mm-hmm. like put on your face, like everything that you do, like that's that authenticity that I feel like is starting to wane. But like that you you generally are like, look, my reputation and what I tell people means it's a lot important to me. Mm-hmm, yeah. Because mm-hmm. the thing is, I think that when you have a, mind you, again, like I've been in drama, I've been in things, like I'm not perfect, like absolutely. But I think when it comes to like reputation about my work ethic and what I do as a creator and like trust with my audience, mm-hmm. that's very important to me. So mm-hmm. I'm not gonna like wane on that mm-hmm. because that's, I feel like what gives you this longevity to have a career for a long time. Mm. You do you is the point. Babe, do you, as long as you're honest but about do it. But you, do you the best that you can do you? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah and, like do the best that you can. Yeah. Don't be a fucking bitch. Yeah. Yeah. And do you, I hope it's a lot of you, because I like you too. And I'm, I, you know, I don't have many I products like in general, but I love you yes. behind the product. I mean, you're obviously you. centered, so very, talented when you're doing you. the, the makeup videos, but you're so funny. Thank you. Yes. I appreciate that. I really, yes, really appreciate that. Yes, I mean it. I really <sighs> do. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you <laughs> that for was that sigh. That Thank was you me. For oh me. my god! You're like Thank you another one bites the we dust. Did. We did it. And but that's but another one. I I I don't know. I personally would love to see you uh, in love, but I Aww. mean, again, That'd I think cool. it has to be. So, uh, honestly, if you were to, I would want somebody. I'd be very picky about who ends up with Manny because mm. I feel like I'm you deserve well. a king. And I don't know. That's how I think. It. That's why it's like I'm picky because. If I'm going to like disrupt my life, mm. which is already fucking awesome, and I love it, I built it to be this way, for someone else to be like made room for it, mm-hmm. they need to be sickening. Yeah. Totally. Well, I wonder if they need to be sickening or if they just need to know that you're sickening and kind of take a back seat. Like, I wonder, do you need another right. like po- powerhouse or maybe somebody just really support and love on you? I honestly, I, I, I really, again, I, I don't think I would mind in either aspect. Like, right. it really is more so about like, I think the connection. Like, of if course. they're like a creator and do it for a living, do it. All right. Cool. Oh, great. Like, Let's t- double team. I'm like, powerful. dope. Great. But the thing is, like, at what's important or if they work in like more of a traditional nine to five and they they are a manager at somewhere i'm like okay cool i think it's important to me that we have that connection yes because that's the most important thing to me it's like babe you don't need to take care of me i can take care of my fucking self uh-huh. oh, i, I can that. do whatever i need to can do can we laugh together can mm. we laugh can we please like that's fun. what i want i was like can we like have fun together can yeah. we chill can we like do things that you want i will say like i have a very specific way like i live my life and like i would like to go out to dinner and like do things and mm-hmm. have fun and chill right, and be right, able to travel right. sometimes mm-hmm. so i think that is an important aspect too. and like, i'm not trying I'm to pay a bitch. no yeah, yeah. Not even that. i like I to go out and spend I like, lots I of money do things but i, I like, like to buy drunk elephant for 68 dollars. yes <laughs> where's my 89 dollar tatcha cream What's happening? <laughs> yeah so it's like things like that where like i would love someone that could be able to do that as well and not make me feel like i'm like 
doing too much or I don't right. want to feel like a sugar daddy either. Of course, of course. I get that. I get yeah. that. Yeah, it sounds like daddy. you really know what you want. Thanks, Manny. Yeah. I love you. I love you. Guys. Thank um, you. Please go follow Manny on YouTube and TikTok, which she's having a lot of fun. Sorry. And you're on Instagram and all that too. Absolutely on everything, Manny Mue. And um, I, this was a bunch of fun. I can't wait to hang out with you next. I can't wait either. Thank you so much for coming. We love you, Manny. <gasps> love you. Thank oh, you, yes. Manny. Cheers. Bye. Yes. Bye, bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs>